Coming right up, Straight Talk with Art Levine. Our guest tonight, the president of California State University Long Beach, Dr. F. King Alexander. This show will be webcast throughout the world the week of May 25th as part of CSULB's commencement ceremonies. Opinions expressed in the following program do not necessarily reflect the views of Charter Communications nor its sponsors. We recognize our obligation to present opposing points of view by responsible spokespersons. For information, please contact the director of the program. She stands in the face of evil and will not lose hope or faith. America, the land of freedom, is still the home of the brave. Great Talk is brought to you in part by Southern California Edison. For over 100 years, life powered by Edison. The Press-Telegram, your local news leader for over 100 years. Join us for tonight's edition of Straight Talk. And now your host, Art Levine. Good evening. Welcome to Straight Talk. We're delighted to have for the entire show tonight President of California State University Long Beach, Dr. F. King Alexander. Mr. President, welcome back to Straight Talk. It's great to be back, Art. It's a tough year for higher education and for Long Beach State. Give us the impact of the cuts that we've suffered and are facing on our campus and the system. Well, the severity of this is, is probably about the worst outlook we've had since, since the, the beginning of the institution, because at no point are we debating over an 18% reduction all the way up to a 36% reduction. Um, that's about a $500 million system reduction versus a billion dollar system reduction. So that, th these are the significant numbers that impact us very significantly and certainly don't do a whole lot to help access and affordability in the state of California. And this is on top of prior cuts in years past, increase of student fees, and uh, are we putting at risk uh, higher education, high quality, low cost higher education, which has been responsible, as we've discussed in past meetings, uh, for the economic miracle of California, the availability of high quality, low cost higher education. And California had an international reputation for investing in the right things, which is human capital, innovation through education. And that is indeed what's at stake here. Um, when you talk about the severity of these cuts, you're also talking about the impacts it's not only, not only going to have on the thousands and tens of thousands of students trying to get in, but on the ones who are already here, as well as the economy around us. The CSU produces 45% of the state's engineers. 54% uh, of the business graduates, baccalaureate degree business graduates, 62% of the agricultural scientists and ag, ag folks that, are, that feed this nation and feed parts of the world. So it has very significant impacts, not just for the direct impact on our students, but also on the, the indirect impact on all Californians. So it's a false economy. We're cutting off our nose to save our face. It's not working. Well, it's a lim it, the fact that we've gone from being about 42% funded from the state of California now down to 20% in three 20%. years. 20%. 20%. One out of every five dollars we use for educational purposes comes from California now. And so, and the, and the rest, just for the record, is uh, it's tuition. Increasingly, and the students, increasingly fees, uh, some fundraising, some federal funds that help all offset some of this, and auxiliary funds. And you, to your credit, I mean, Long Beach State is the leader among the CSU system in raising private dollars. We well, we're one of the leaders. Um, we we finished second in the CSU last year. We were raising about thirty million a year, and that's up from about twenty million. So. We are increasingly, we're in a, we've begun a capital campaign, we've raised about $100 million, but that's not going to help offset 
the type of reductions that we're looking at. These are reductions of a severe magnitude that will, that will impact what well, we've already estimated. That's like pulling the funding away from 13,000 of our students entirely. And you had, we had 70,000 applicants for 6,000 places last year. Everyone right. wants to come to the beach. It's hot under the president's leadership and Dr. Maxson before him. This has become the campus of choice for the, for the young people of California. Well, we had 71,500 applications for about 6,500 spots. So we've never been more attractive as a campus. We've never been more attractive as an education and a degree. However, turning away tens of thousands of these students, and many of those students are actually qualified, turning or having to turn them away, I'm not sure where they're going to go. And to students, after they get their degree, are taxpayers and create the economic vibrancy of our state. In fact, for every dollar that's spent on our institution and the CSU system, we return, it returns $5.54 to every citizen of the state of California. Okay, let me ask you the $64 question. Who is responsible for this? Well, this, is, this has been coming for a long time, and as we've talked about, The Economist pointed out about them uh, recently in a, in a special report that California has now created the world's most dysfunctional democracy. We put ourselves in a bind. A two-thirds vote is one issue. The uh, Prop 13 is a whole nother when it all started. And over the years, the referendums that we've had over and over and over again on the size of chicken coops. Um, this really, and J James Madison warned us that, that democracies can't function like this and they can collapse like this. Well, we've got a dysfunctional state system. And we, if we're going to invest in the things that mean the most to the California economy, we need to reestablish our priorities and figure out what, what we're trying to get to at the end result. So we've, in part, tied the hands of our legislators with all these initiatives and referendums that they don't have control over most of the budget. It's preordained by all of these. Some of it is. And, and many of our legislators also pass the buck by saying, look, we don't want to make these hard decisions. We'll just let the voters decide. And so we wake up one day and we're spending 12% of our entire budget on prisons and we're now spending 7% on higher education and the investment in our students. I don't think there's a citizen in the state that would like to see that happen. What is wrong with this picture? Well, we need to write our legislators and tell them of the importance of proper funding or adequate funding for higher education. There are real human beings making real votes now. Well, it, it, we need to do more than that. We need to, all of them say they support education. They do believe in what we're doing in affordable ways, efficient ways. However, it's when they vote. It's how they vote. Yeah. Follow the votes. That'll tell you who really supports our children and the generation on the way and, and, and who actually is just giving it lip service. So what you can do is write to your legislator and tell him or her of your view of the importance of higher education and you will be watching their vote uh, on critical votes upcoming. Exactly. And the, the real danger in all this is that we're in danger of, of this generation as it gets older and moves into retirement age. It's in danger of leaving the next generation in, with a lower standard of living, lower educational opportunities, lower health care opportunities. That's the first time in the history of America that we are faced with a dilemma where the generations on the way are going to get less and have less opportunities. Not to mention we're leaving every man, woman, and child with a debt of about $100,000. We're passing that on, too, at the federal level. Well, and, and, but even more importantly, we're not giving them the proper tools or the necessary economic standing to, to, to get out of it. Okay, stay with us. We'll be back with more of the Prez after these messages. Supported by Edison International. Californians are getting to be old hands at year-round energy conservation. Part of our special awareness of the resources we all depend on. We're making the change to energy efficient light bulbs, keeping warm weather thermostats set to a comfortable 78 degrees, and giving major appliances the afternoon off. Because when it comes to energy conservation, it all adds up. Life powered by Edison. I want to improve my career opportunities. I want to earn a higher salary at my job. I'd like to finish what I started. The new Bachelor of Arts in Liberal Arts degree completion program at Cal State Long Beach will help you achieve your educational goals while keeping your life in balance. Contact our customer service center at 
1-800-963-2250 for more information or visit us on the web. Let CSULB help you finish what you started. Getting kids to care about economics is easier than you think. You just need to find a connection. Like how the Port of Long Beach supports one in eight jobs in our city alone. And how the port's commitment to going green is creating even more new jobs. So the Port of Long Beach? Cool. My no texting in class policy? Not so cool. The Port of Long Beach. Investing in jobs. Investing in you. As your business searches for smart ways to save, don't forget about the one that's right in front of you. Switch to the Charter Business Bundle and you can save big without sacrificing a thing. Get reliable business telephone and high-speed internet with local support and great features. Power your business with great savings starting today. It's easy to pay less and get more. Call now and make a switch to the Charter Business Bundle.